Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Day. Hi. <laughs> you're, to, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> I'm so awkward when it comes to this podcast stage, you know why? Because when I tell you, I'm so used to reading the script. But anyways, you're welcome, my dear, to another episode of Claire's Deck, where I ask my guests the most random hypothetical questions. Never have I ever questioned, or sometimes would you would you rather, basically with the intent of getting to know more about them, more than I can find on any search engine possible, right? So, today I'm hanging out with somebody legendary. Like, I'm going to tell you, he's a... Uh, it's a bad guy, like it's a bad guy in on the screen and on our Spotify. Do you know why? Because he's an amazing rapper. He's quite legendary in the acting scene as well as music. He's a very, very nice guy. And his name is Ilbliss. I even really feel like calling him Mr. Ilbliss. Like, sorry. <laughs> like, um, what, what, what is that? I don't even know those terms of like... You know how men hail men, but I just don't even know what, what word to use. Like... Boss, so, Oga wanna, boss, yeah, yes. I know. I Oga know where you, I know where you're going. I know where you're headed. But <laughs> just w- w- for for the purpose of this show, it will be it will bliss. How are you, babe? I'm good. I'm good. fantastic. How are you? I'm doing dope. Thank you for having me on on your deck. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for pulling up yeah. on my deck. <laughs> I appreciate you coming. <laughs> Love your bars. Love the album. Thank you. Could you tell me how to pronounce it? Sidekai. Sidekai. Yeah, Sidekai. Um, it's named after my kids. So my daughters, um, Kachim Side oh. and Sochi Kaima. So oh. Sidekai. If, if you look at the cover art, it's yes, both of them are so cool. Like it's cool, <laughs> like their dad, like just They're wearing just, the headsets. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. So I took that picture on a Saturday, Saturday morning. I came mm. down, came downstairs, and I saw them sitting on the dining table, and they had my headphones on and my glasses. Aww. And then they were like, "Papa, how do we look?" And I'm like, I'm, "I was looking at them like." Then I took up my phone and I took the picture, yeah. and just didn't know what to do with it until months later when I was trying to piece my album together. Mm. I, I ran into that picture again, and I said, "This will be your new album cover." Because it was just something so dope about it. Yeah, yeah. it is yeah. so cool. Like it was so so thank cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're gonna get into the hypothetical questions. Then we're gonna circle right back okay. to your album and I'm dive ready. right into it. Mm-hmm. So, Ilbiz, yes, would you rather forget about yourself or forget about everyone else? I always forget myself. I always forget about myself first. So mm. is this like a selfless? Are you selfless or are you more about... No. So people? like not, not necessarily selflessness, like mm. putting yourself last and putting others first, but in a hypothetical scenario where your memory gets wiped, okay. would you rather forget everything about yourself or you would rather forget remember everything about yourself but forget everybody else? Now I'd like to remember everything about myself. I forget everybody oh, else. Yeah, I, uh, you build from the out, from the inside out. So mm. you need to understand yourself before you can you care to others, or yeah. care or or, or or tie into other people, mm. or else you, it, it's crazy. You know, just looking at the question again, it's crazy because so you know everything about everybody else, but yeah, you but don't you really know who you are. About yourself. Nah, it's the other way around. Nothing. Right. Self first. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. And it's so funny because the other time you were trying to be selfless, but technically, <laughs> in a real sense of things, yes. you will pick yourself. Because you, yes. you have to know yourself to an extent before you even know others. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Would you rather. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay. What would you do if you hear. Um, like, if. What would you do, mm-hmm. right? If you were offered billions of dollars to be locked in a room for 50 minutes. With a huge possibility that when you leave the room, mm-hmm. you will either be 50 days or 50 years in the future. Would you do it? Why or why not? So if you were offered like $50 billion yeah. and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put you in this room for 50 minutes. But there's a chance that when I open this door, we might be 50 years into the future <laughs> or 50 days into the future. How did you come up with this up? But will I have the money? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I will 50 years, whatever. Even yeah, if it's yeah, yeah. days I will or, just give nah, you. Now, I'll be good, man. I'll be good. Fifty bi- fifty billion dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's life changing. Even if you're even <laughs> at sixty, 
True. Yeah. But if you add 50 to your age, can you sp- what do you want to spend for 50 billion dollars? <laughs> okay, I didn't look at it from that point. Yeah, because um, but but do you know that there's a see it's a 50-50 thing. It's a mm-hmm. thing where I could add 50 years to your age, yeah, yeah. But it could be 50 days though. Oh yes. So it's a gamble I'm willing it's to It's literally take. a gamble, yeah. but a gamble for 50... P- I'll, go do it. Uh, I'll do it over and over again. Because <laughs> even though I come out and it's I'm f- it's 50 and it's just 50 days. And then the balling starts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. So even if you add it to my current age, the balling will still you start. You still start. Even like you go you use your money there. 80, right? You'll be good. Yeah. yeah. You'll be good. Yeah. yeah. I'll take a gamble on it. Definitely, me too. To yeah. be honest, like if I add fifty to my age, well, I will go see. Uh, life you begins at forty up, anyway. Come up with this, with this, with this. It's see, it's it's wisdom and the internet. Internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the um what's the angriest you've ever gotten, and what sort of took you to that point? Hmm. This must be two thousand and eight. I was on a bike somewhere on the mainland two hours late for a studio session and I get to some junction somewhere in Oba. He said, this is the first time I ever said said this anywhere. Yeah. And then like two cops, okay, they're not even cops, they're like uniformed guys, like I don't, I can't remember what part of, they call them like man of war mm, or okay, something. Okay. And they just stepped up and just stopped the bike, get down. I'm like, get down for what I'm going for a session and then the first slap comes in from the guy. I'm like, you're joking. Ah, no, I beat that guy you. Wait, wait, you fought him back? Ah, I beat that guy. I'm screaming. R- ripped his uniform into shreds. I was already frustrated with it. Because then I was I was juggling being being a banker. I was oh. a banker for some time. So I had Saturday banking that I, I really detest. Mm. I, you know, and I was running late. My boss was just being, just, just being a dumbass. <laughs> Sorry for my it's course okay. word. And eventually I got there and I was just, and the engineer was calling me, you have two more hours on your time. Yeah, or, I'm yeah. not going to do it. And I'm like, get out of Heat the way. everywhere and then somebody now slaps oh, you. God, oh I my God, I held the guy. I held the guy. They were at the point, there were like five of them, you know, trying to throw in punches and trying. What? And then I just, I made sure I got the guy. Like, I'm sure I broke like a couple things in that guy's body. And then I just took off. Oh my I just god. Running. Was it the, oh you ran? I, I ran. thought you were still with that bike. No, I wasn't with the, the bike. bike the, man bike, left you. the bike moved. And if you see how swiftly the bike moved. Left you. It was you like there. animation, man. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was faded. Uh, you know. And so then going uh, to that fight before anything could happen, I was gone. You know. But yeah, I had a few bruises and scars because I had a lot of people trying yeah, to. Yeah, and then it was outside, so a lot of people. And it was outside just... and it was just at a junction. Crazy. You know, um, it, it was crazy. It was embarrassing. I couldn't. When I now got to the studio, the engineer and I said, eh, "I can give you two more hours." And I'm Ma- like, it's Manica, your, I just sorry, fought. Sorry, sorry, fought. So I wanted like, to. I just went to grab the guy and shake him. But now nah, I'm not a violent guy. Nee, I can yeah. tell. That's why I literally even because you no. seem pretty, pretty chill. I'm no, so. No, no, I'm not. So I don't understand where that spirit came yeah, from. Yeah, but no, no, it's frustration. Yeah. It can happen to the best of us. Yeah, and I just looked at it. Jeez, you just ripped like. This guy might be a military guy. This guy is my just, no, they just might like... arrest you. I'm like, I'm trying to get to the studio. <sighs> That's so crazy. That is I, so I don't crazy. think I've been that mad. My rage has been, I think my rage left with that occasion. That is, that's uh, crazy. That's, and it's been like about 2008. Eight, some time back. Long time. Some time back. Trust oh, me, some I was eight back. years old. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> That it's probably uncanny did they that you were still living with your parents at the time I was in that like, fight. They say they feed me, hurt <laughs> me, even teach me English, everything. This is so everything. crazy. Oh, that is wow. so crazy. So, if you could pick between music and movies from the jump, uh-huh. which would you pick and why? Yeah, it would be music. That's mm. my first love. That's that's. So everything else that became everything I spiraled into came from music. Mm. Yeah, so uh, that's why I made my my reputation. Um, but how did is, you get into movies, though? Movies is two words. Kemi Adetiba. Mm. Yeah, she approached me for a film called King of Boys in 2018. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's like yeah. she, when she wrote the script, she probably like, yeah, Elvis will kill this. Type. Yeah, and she was like, oh, I, I need you on reminiscing in, in a movie, and it's so cool. You're this, you know, cool, calm, evil guy, like a yeah. crime lord. You see, I think what Kemi did is Kemi just went and jacked my persona as yeah. a boss and just put it in the film. 
and it, it felt good but i didn't even want to do it because i didn't want to do it out of fear it mm. wasn't even because I didn't. At the first, I didn't want to act. I never wanted to to make. Film. I just wanted to produce film mm. and just license the film. I've always liked the back end. Yeah. Then you know, just not just being in front of the camera. So from day one, I always wanted to just. Cause I feel like the creators always have more money. I always feel mm. like they are the biggest table. But you as the actor, there will be another, another younger version of you coming. Yeah. You know. So I felt like. Not everybody will be RMD. Not mm. everybody will be Olu Jacobs. Mm. You know? So I just felt, or can I, or can I? So I just felt, nah. Let me just create films at the right time. Um, so Kemi came when she came, King of Boy. She sent me the script and I didn't read it. So I, I just left it in my email. Crazy. Months just kept going and she kept calling me like, Ili, we need to finalize. We need to sign off on this. Do you like the story? Do you like? And I'm like, Kemi, I'll get to it. I'll get. To it. I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to decide. Mm. Then I stopped picking her calls. I ghosted her. I say with full chest. I ghosted Kemi Adetiba and I'm like, nah, this is this is not how I want to move into the film space. Yeah. Because there's this funny thing about how they judge you when you come from coming from music into like yeah. a, like a sister art like yeah, acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look at it like, oh, his time is done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's he's trying. They're not saying it like diversity. Yeah. They especially, don't, in Nigeria, no, especially in Nigeria. No, especially in Nigeria, because we're just bi. We just like bio. Mm -hmm. We just don't want to see. And they like to win. put people in a box. Like yeah, stay there. how they see you, don't move out of why? there. Why? Who told Bruh. you to act? I'm telling you, that's why. That's I personally, I currently even struggle with that. Like I'm a presenter and all of that, but I write music, and I'm just oh, like, yeah. how am I supposed to like just come and be like, oh yeah, I'm singing a song. Oh my god. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's controller, a mental right? conditioning. Yeah. You, you, wrote, you wrote parts of controller. Yeah, that's yes, a I did. mad record, Sha. Yeah, yeah, that's a mad record. That's that's Shout that's out to Fave. She's girl, so Faith. amazing. She's incredible. She's 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 an amazing. Know, person. Incre so I mean you could be anything, but um after months, Kemi probably just gave up and I gave up as well and moved on. You'd even want it yeah. to So a um, couple months later, I, I don't know what I was doing in my email. And then I just I was just checking something and I saw KOB PDF file. I'm like, yeah, that's that chemistry script. Let me even check it out. Let me mm. even see what it looks like. So I clicked on it and then I saw the first scenes. I'm like, oh my God. It's and so then I saw hard. the second scenes. I'm like, oh, this is mad now. It's like a political trailer. I never yeah. knew. Yeah. <sighs> Then I picked up my call, my phone and I made the call of shame. <laughs> hey, Kemi, what's up? Are you on set? She's like, what set? Why? Like, why? I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I'm like, Kemi, did you guys shoot eventually? It's like, no, we haven't shot because it's been difficult trying to cast this character. I'm like, send me the contract. I'll do it. I'll do it. So mm. she sent it to me. I signed off. Got on set. Killed you know, it. Met reminisce and... Um, Did you know Remus was on it before you no, even? No, I knew. Yeah, Remus okay. is my G now. Okay, so that's, you're really that's top three dopest Nigerian rappers. In no order, it's always M I Vector Reminis. Mm. Yeah, so that's how my list always goes. And mm. so I met him on set, and, and we had a swell time. First, mm. we spent like two hours gossiping about <laughs> hip hop and why hip hop wasn't growing, and how the youngins are so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> you and know, then you guys were not like. Oh. And, characters. Then, and yeah and then after that we're like okay so what is that rule? oh it's supposed to be like 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 criminals like supposed to be mm -hmm. like criminals that work together oh that's amazing that's dope that's dope too dope you know? so it was just incredible kemi eased me in made it really dope for us too yeah. first timers mm -hmm. we, we made it even seem like it was your first time like we just we made a smash but yes. some scenes i was like i've just seen the fat down before because i know the way I, they I know own it's, the character it's, 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 it's a swagoo man swagoo you came with it Steez tough Steez. i could smell it <laughs> so that boss uh -uh. Don't play, don't play. I'm actually here for it. I need to go back and watch King of Boys just you because should. of this interview. You should. Like, one and two. They've yeah. got the second one on Netflix. And it's like first Nigerian original series by Netflix. Mm -hmm. First Netflix original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen it. I've seen it as well. I yeah. love, 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 yeah. love, love me some Kemi Adesiba. Yeah. She even directed um, a music video of Faves, Fave and Simi. I think it was Simi featuring Fave. Oh, that? yes. I remember. Yeah, I, I remember. When I, because I was there during the shoot, but I wasn't there through. I just stopped by during the part where they were shooting in the mm. court. And I was just seeing her getting into it. I was Kemi. like, yes. 
Kemi is incredible. She a makes, boss babe. She's such a boss chick and mm-hmm. huge inspiration for yes, all the, for very, all the girls. Yes, very, 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 Regardless very of the one. genre, but mm-hmm. huge inspiration. She believes that. in her in her work so much. She she puts everything in, mm. so she's not like a half-hearted. Uh, we just do it and keep you moving. Yeah. If she's shooting and that's not the shot doesn't connect. It's not nobody's leaving her. Yeah, she keeps keeps going. She oh keeps God, going. Oh and then she she doesn't even bother about oh my god, I have to get my front out done or something yeah, like that. It's shorts and she shorts go just, and sneakers nah. and a black King of Boys t shirt. That's it. That's it. She doesn't have that. But she can glam up though. No. Uh when when she <laughs> can she can glam up. <laughs> Don't play. <laughs> I love it. Shout okay. out to Kemi, though. Shout out to Kemi, I yeah. So, um, I want to go on a quick break. When I come okay. back, I'm going to be asking you some never have I ever questions. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hugger boss. Are you hearing that? You have to be honest, too. Just in case I walk off set, like, just know that it was me leaving, not to. to do that. <laughs> no, go, come on, so go lock the door. Lock that door, please. We'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Deck. And we're back looking dapper, wearing black, black, like twins. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still with Oga Boss himself. Yes. yes one yes, and only. Yes. You know, in, in the, the flesh. In the flesh type thing, you know? Yes. And I have to never have I ever questions for him that he has to be honest about. Yeah. That's quite important. Um, not strictly never have I ever questions, can't lie. You know, I have some really funky ones here, but <laughs> let's get into it, shall we? That's this chief, though. Like, that's yeah, that we laughter, get, see, isn't Trust me, chief? trust me. It's an experience. I Claire's deck is not a show. It's an experience. <laughs> so, Apparently. It is. Like, Look, like, I'm getting the vibe. We have plants. <laughs> what show you know got fake plants? Yeah. Fake plants at the back. Can't you guys get real ones? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never have I ever had to work with someone I don't like. I like you. Nah. Really? You like everybody? Nah. Like, I have to connect. Like, work, like music? Yeah, any type of work. No, no. We have to connect, though. Mm. Like, that, which is why, like, I take time with the collaborations and everything. Mm. I must really be a fan. I'll give you an instance. Fave. Mm. I've been following Fave from her rhythm. What's that? Her first record? Something. Baby Rhythm. Yeah, Baby Rhythm. You know, because um, I was there when Olamide came through to discuss her video with my good friend Clarence Peters. And Clarence shot her first video. Mm. And I heard her vocals. I'm like, this chick is going to blow. You understand? And and I just kept in touch, just kept supporting her on social media every now and then, sending a message and encourage her. So when it was time to do the work to, to record for my album, it was it was a piece of cake. She came in and yeah. she nailed it. And Cute. and this is how it is for I don't know how to do that. Oh, you're buzzy. So we're gonna to go to the studio and just walk just for the buzz, just for the hype. Mm. It won't connect and I I won't record from the heart. It won't be real. Mm. So I it's one of my mantras. I'm very heavy on it. Like I have to be your fan. Like we need to be really cool. Mm-hmm. To an extent. Yeah, at least. To, yeah. to an extent. We don't have to talk all the time, but yeah, you know. Now Faith doesn't have my time because she's always touring. She's always yeah. in a plane. She's always, <laughs> she's always somewhere. just playing and just shooting fun videos. And yeah. then she'll respond three days later. I'm like, see oh, your life? Same thing. With, trust me. Like, <laughs> literally, I'm currently undelivered, girl. <laughs> you are blocked. <laughs> You're blocked. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's but a sweetheart. Yeah, she's she a is. Sweetheart. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's how it is for me. Nah. So, so your yeah. album, mm-hmm. Sidekai. Yeah. See the guy. Well. See the guy. Yeah, see the guy. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ten features on it, so oh. you connected with every single artist that's on there. With the mood black, I love, I love the record with the mood black as well. Full chest. Yeah. How yeah. how did that collaboration come to be? Um, shout out, shout out to the mood. That's such such an incredible human. Yeah. Um, so I've been following his growth. Um, so I was in the studio with the producer and he played the beat for me and I, I said there's something very riotous about this record mm. there's you know the chords mm, 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 mm. I'm like where are we going to put on this record because I don't want to ride it ride it alone mm. no I'll do it alone I went ahead wrote the first two three verses and they sounded dope but I just felt it was it was incomplete mm. because I felt I needed like a guest artist yeah. to get on it then I started to look through 
Um, I had already put Vector on a record called Successful. Yeah. Um, um, I said, Emma is going to just not have the time to do it. He would love to do it, but he just might not find the time to do it, at, you know, with the timing to yeah, rhyme with my timing. Yeah. And then the producer said, why don't you just holler at Odumodu? Do do? Are, yeah. are you good with him? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Then I, I got on the phone and called him. Immediately the call connected. Next thing I heard was... <coughs> Still on that dumb flow, still on that dull flow, pipe flow, delivery cycle, capo, ili chapo, don the marco, baba, we did feel you die for Abuja that year. <laughs> and I'm like, this guy is such a cool guy. It's I'm so like, cool. the fact bro, that he just recited. Like, he just recited lines from a song yeah, I had back like in the day. Before, yeah. He was like, man, that year, me and my, my homie replay, man, we always used to just be good. Like, we are huge fans of yours. I'm like, Odumo, it's time to get on a record. And yeah. he was like, boss, send me the beat. What's up, I'm no email, though. Yeah. It will be quicker. I sent it to him. He had the beat. Fell in love with it. Told mm. me he was going to send it in a couple of days. He sent it in three hours. <laughs> you know, so the, so, for, so for, cool. it was so cool. And we started mixing his vocals. By evening, we had a first mix and that I sent to him. You know, for me, is I just felt honored. Yeah, I felt honored because there's so much stories and so much um, so much opinions on how younger artists tend to treat their big brothers are the older ones mm -hmm, in the business yeah. and which is why I'm never entitled there are people I reached out to to make this album and either they weren't ready or they probably felt I didn't have the, as much buzz as I used to have or what am I going to start now with Ill Bliss uh, artistically I'm always difficult to hack because um, I come up with the collaborations mm. and I tell you okay Claire it's going to be called um Full chest is going to be called yeah, controller. Okay, okay, so that's the yeah, angle. We're yeah, going so to. that's the angle we're going to. You already to know from. your song. I know no, the song. What you want I, to, I don't yeah. just leave it and we're just gambling up and down. Up. When I met Favi, it was peace of mind. Yes, I connected with every single person on, on the you know, project. On the project, every single artist. Yeah. From some of them were with me yeah. to record. Some of them were just maybe out of town yeah, or out of the country the and then they got the direction and they're like okay check this verse out and see if it works mm. and it was just perfect oh wow i'm painless, absolutely here for painless. it i'm so here yes, for it yes, so let me give you another never have i ever question mm -hmm. that i have up my sleeve mm -hmm. never have i ever given someone a fake phone number you have oh god <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Are the, you serious? like i was the king at it sometimes uh, but it wasn't like it was a fake number it just wasn't my number anymore it was <laughs> okay it, anymore okay yeah so it so wasn't was a, a number, number that i was using. actively using it was some number for for booking shows and stuff and for mm. random everybody had that number that was okay. my number when i was coming up in the game oh, okay so everybody okay. had okay, okay had that number so i just like yeah okay just send me a message on this number i'll see mm. and i'll get back to you and you run into them months later they're like boss i tried my best ah, you sent it for that number yeah you'd be like ah, you sent it to me but i number. sent it to you now okay then i'll guilt guilt trips will come and i'll give them my real number uh, <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> yeah but i have one. i have so many times so many times <laughs> somebody's like no one that number no they go through. yeah <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever I was going to ask if I ever, ever rejected a role but it's quite interesting that you already told me you rejected King of oh, Boys oh I did know but I eventually did it yeah, I have rejected all that once oh before. my god after, I'll show you again. no after King of Boys I became the Igbo guy in the pop in the pink suit or in the purple suit mm. and just the other about a week ago my daughter came to me and I was asking me, she said, my older daughter, she said, Papa, what are all these blue books stacked up in your library? I'm mm. like, those are, they're called scripts. So she's like, did you make up, I heard they become films. She's mm. so, just seven, but she's so smart. Yeah. She's like, I heard they become films. Okay, I said, yeah. And did you do all of them? Yeah, no. I'm like, I did, I didn't do any of them. And I said, how many are they? He said, 24. No, Claire, there was sometimes some weeks I was getting like four scripts. But we're shooting in Asaba currently. I no disrespect to Asaba filmmakers, but you know, when something pops, when something works, maybe a personnel works or. They don't want a to stretch cast. it out. Nah, they needed me in that box forever. I was going to be Odogu. I was going to. There were films like Gangs of Malaysia, um, Odogu, and, Odogu and Sons. Um, Oh God! You know how my Igbo brothers name themselves like Okay, Okay Equipment, 
or or if I can talk it. <laughs> nah, I said hell, hell no. Nobody's ever going to do that to me. So I held it, uh, baby. I'm still stuck on that something Malaysia. No, that's how we are. Todoku Todoku Malaysia. Malaysia, and that wasn't his name initially. <laughs> they had some other whack name. I told Kemi, "What is this now?" Kemi said, "Okay, rename it, rename it." I say you're giving Rem reminisce like a sexy name, Makanaki. You now come and be giving me this dead name. Which name did you give me before? I can't say it, man. Tell it's me. a code. I'll send it to you as a text. Yeah, but terrible name. Not, it wasn't even going to connect with the character. So I just went back and I picked the phone mm. and I called my guys in the, in the east. And I grew up in Enugu, so I called some of my guys. I'm like, see guys there, uh, you know all those guys in the hood that run off to Malaysia or run off to Thailand or some mm. place, some far off place and go and make money trading or dealing dope mm. or something. I need names. They're like, cool, no wahala. 30 minutes later, they sent me a long list. <laughs> Are you oh serious? God, God, Active. It was, mad. it was it was crazy. The same names like like Ugo Thailand. So I'm like, why does it have to be a country next to it? Then they said, then there's a Dugu Malay. Mm. That's the guy that controls this and that and that in Malaysia. Mm. And he's from Newi and he also has spare part businesses. I'm like, Malay, my, as in Malaysia. Okay, mm. I wrote it down. I wrote like about seven names down. Sent it to Kemi. Kemi called me back. I'm like, I like this Malay one. It yeah, has, we'll a Malay, it. It has a ring yeah. to it. What's Malay, by the way? I'm like, Malaysia. She's like, ah, K. That's the guy. That's the guy. That's how we named him. All. And Odogu, then no, I, but now, do you still get called Odogu Malay? What? My name disappeared now. So people don't even remember I rap. People, and I'm eight albums and four EPs deep in this business. And... People see and they're like, Udugu, I call the cute Udugu. Udugu, man. Udugu, we have to come back. You have, they're so not concerned about the <laughs> yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. You're rapping, but that I make. Udugu, man. Yeah, you're rapping, bro. Udugu, man. Udugu, man. Because yeah. you're such a bad guy. I feel that, though. No, he was. He was. It was just a, just a sinister. And then it was, it was very, like, I liked his um, Chiwetalagu-like lines. <laughs> you know that was Chiwata. That was just, that was Chiwata Lago in a younger soul. Just that's what I was. Really? Yeah, that's oh, what I was. Please don't want to wound me. Anytime I tell people this thing that I'm too wise, <laughs> you you see, you see. We should find you. Oh, you see that smoke where they see it. That my brain is <laughs> on fire. On fire. That's crazy. Yeah, that's why. So I didn't do those roles. I, I, I turned everything down. Yeah. Mm. In hindsight, it was money, but. The stories were were watery. Mm. Most some of them, and, and, and I'm picky. And it's, and yeah. it's all Kemi's really fault. it's good. It's really good because you started with the bang. You don't want to water down. No, I was going to be washed up by now. Yeah, now, if, if I come out and it. say, okay, I want to do this, I want to do that, then people will be like, yeah. Even in the films that were in gangster films, they still wanted me to be that quintessential Igbo guy, you know, that walking with the with the hat with the funky hat and a convoy. Like there's this particular fire, yeah. film called. Uh, Love and something, love and crime or something. It's supposed to be a guy marrying some chick that was well raised, that was from the streets. Mm. You know, they still put that Udugu Malay thing inside. Mm. They, 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 they still wanted that persona. That persona, and I'm like, but no, that's this can't be the only thing that I I can possibly pull off as an actor. So I decided I was going to take a break, take a long break, and go and produce the kind of content that you want to produce mm. if it's if it's film then go and do it and and own your character and also i've been training I've, i have um like a team of people that train me on acting even mm. if i am not on screen okay. even if i'm not shooting yeah, but just i'm getting learning ready constantly. i'm getting ready yeah so i love that when, that. It, when it's time you go in and you kill it again i love uh, that some I people really think it's been that. arrogant but and they say, oh, he's blown up in music now. He has so much money from music. Doesn't need fame. It's just quality control, really. You can't Period. be in everything. You can't Claire, be I'll everywhere. die first. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. It's not possible. I'm not in it that way. Yeah. Uh, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the reason why I got in. I'm with that. I'm yeah. with that. So a couple more Never Have I Ever questions before okay. I okay. let you leave. Never have I ever rooted for a friend to leave a partner. Leave that girl. That babe, man, she don't like you. She didn't follow Odogo Malay. I'm thinking. Nah. Uh-huh. No. I let them handle their, their issues. Really? No, no, no. Same thing with um, matchmaking. Mm, you don't no, matchmake as well. No, 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 no. When, it, when it falls back, 
when it when it cascades back down the wrong you know wrongly you'd be like it was all your fault yeah like, you're the yeah, one that like, put us in together you didn't see all of these things mm-hmm. so i just like to just let people handle their stuff and i'll tell you that people do do change because mm-hmm. i really believe that people change yeah if they really want to you know but ego ego is such a mm. you know people don't so i never get involved i'm not the relationship counselor you know you would ask me my opinion i'll be like it's up to you if you're not happy mm. then so it's up to happy, you yeah. do you know i could never say if you're not happy go if it's if you're not happy then do the needful mm. yeah that's how careful i am with words mm, with your words and, i'm yeah. not to do anything yeah I, I always just want clarity with yeah. peer pressure some people are confused they don't they need your help so they can pull the trigger mm. I'm not they just that, want you to go ahead I'm and not that if anything guy, goes shoot wrong yourself, they'll, go, <laughs> they'll go on and tell you yeah. you told me too yeah. and I just true. said how high true I'll miss that it's crazy though like people go through a lot of stuff in relationships mm-hmm. and, and sometimes you just need extra push to say I think it and it's an enough is enough but mm. I'm not the guy to tell you to pull the trigger because when you guys make up you can go and I use venture, you with your, on your head. Be, I nah. will be the bad guy. You will be the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> so finally, with the Never Have I Ever questions, before we get right back into album talk, even though I've been stealing a little bit info yeah, here, here and, there, and there, Never Have I Ever Googled Myself. You never have. Okay, yeah, yeah. All the I mean, damn like, time. I have Googled myself. All the damn time. I want to know <laughs> bits, bits, of pieces. Even on Twitter. I just yeah, want to yeah, search Ill Bliss. Yeah. I'd be like, what are people saying? This guy is so underrated. Oh, God, this guy's album is so dope. Mm. How come everybody's not talking about it? This guy is actually whack. He's overrated. <laughs> oh, this guy is not Igbo enough. Oh, he's not the king of Igbo rap. I never wanted kingship King, i rap in english rap, and Igbo, so it's too limiting being just an eastern rapper you know mm. so they all kinds of stuff oh iblis is so such the model celebrity oh Il, so that's it and then they'll all they'll find some guy some dark looking guy and be like is this, this Iblis if- before he made money <laughs> this looks like Iblis hustling for his rent <laughs> like they say they say a lot of crap about i'm screaming it, yeah I'm about screaming. people but i mean i mean i feel like most people could, even if you're nobody yet you could just check maybe i mean maybe am i somebody to somebody yeah somebody, yeah I, yeah you'll be do, shocked. I, do i mean anything to to people somebody, so somebody. i do hmm. i do all the just so that i can catch up because sometimes they don't ask you they don't mention hmm you when they write these things mm. they understand yeah so, so you just see your name and stuff and, and you keep up so most people see the hate comments that you leave be a better person yeah <laughs> be a better per- damn you haven't even had breakfast and you're trolling i swear on drop em- that empty, twitter phone empty stomach empty stomach, empty stomach. Yeah, just small it. data just small data yeah. 800 mb hey. You want to talk? You don't even have up to a gig. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been allotted and you have 500 MB left. You're here trolling and me. you're still trolling. I have one it's, gig, it's babe, it. and you. Babe, that's witchcraft. <laughs> that it can't be anything else than witchcraft. I'm telling it you, it can't be, can't be a right soul. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. All you do is just talk down on people. FC mm-hmm. here, FC mm-hmm. there, FC there. Like blah, the fan blah. base is. What do you What do you do with your spare time and stuff? You know. Oh, spare time. Oh god, I love football. I like I watch a lot of football when the season is in. Mm, okay. Yeah. And it's so crazy. I watch I watch so much football. I wish I was a gambler. Mm-hmm. You know, because sometimes I just want to watch the Japanese league and I want to watch the Turkish league. Really? And some of my friends are like, you know so much about this league. Why you just put it to gambling use? Why you just mm. gamble? And I'm like, no, Do you it's, play? It's football? just a little bit. A little bit. Um sometimes when you go out to play all this tough, you know, mm. here and there people just kick you so hard they don't know you're a celebrity like they're trying to break my damn legs how am i supposed to perform yeah yeah so they're trying to ruffle you up like we're still playing at national stadium and i'm like okay guys i'll support the club buy jerseys for you guys give you food after the games yeah mm. I, I it go be i don't retire i'm retired i come and watch once in a while and wear my yeah. kit and be with you guys but actively no nah but i mean every now and then i just show up so what's your like for favorite i like football, football. i like reading i like i read i read I've... what's your favorite football club oh arsenal really i'm an arsenal fan as no, well I'm a top 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 gun yeah i walked at the stadium highbury really i walked at the highbury stadium when i was living in england for a couple of years before that is so cool to the Emirates. so like i'm a no i'm not a dstv fan mm-hmm. uh, some people are baby arsenal fan i not like it matters but yeah but like uh, you're you're that you're like no, you love arsenal no, that no, much like yeah. I, i've loved arsenal from 
when I mean way before the Invincibles, way before really? Canon One who just made it um easier for us to love Arsenal mm. because then they had this policy for black people, for um people of African descent. So they had a lot of players coming in from the Francophone African mm. countries, from Nigeria, from Ghana. So it just felt like, oh, that's our guy and he has yeah, blown up. That's the yeah. team that that's supporting him and support. And Nigerians, we have that thing. We like, we like to support our own. Oh, yes, we do. The same way we like to throw ours. Yes, but the like, that's the thing. Nobody else can troll our own, you know? Oh. Like, you <laughs> yes, know what I mean? Yes, yes. So I like, I like Arsenal. It's, it's an incredible team. I but are you like a Ronaldo league. or Messi type of guy? I like book players. I, I just like how understated Messi is. Mm. C. Ronaldo is your perfect athlete. He's like a robot. Yes. Like programmed he for ticks perfection. the boxes. He ticks the boxes on focus, determination, strength, resilience, height, everything. 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 Height. Messi just makes everything just look like God's work. Mm. Like mm. Even with the imperfections that he seems to Yeah. Have came with the heart issue the heart the hole in the heart yeah. went through surgery he's a midfielder he's not even an attacker mm. so mess is supposed to walk the goals for mm. the attackers he ends up just having incredible goal tallies ends up just scoring from and he's field. short and he's a small guy and so he, he looks like a farmer <laughs> It looks like the guy you find on a farm. Did you see that clip of him crying because he couldn't even... Oh, yes. Because, um, yeah, the yeah, finals. Of, yeah, yeah, I saw it and it was so... And then he had just won a, won a cola's cup. Like, oh, what? Yes. Oh, yes. You could rest, babe. Yeah, okay. he could rest. Like, Messi's the, his goat. Greatest of all times. But that, you can't put C. Ronaldo down for his accomplishments yeah, in of the course, game as well. But Messi just makes it look like art. Mm-hmm. C. Ronaldo does it with a lot of... Gra, 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 yeah. Gra. Messi looks around and where is that new... Guy, it's that new person in our team. Oh, Claire, it's time to score. See the pass. That's so lovely. Choop. Claire collects the ball, talks <laughs> yeah, it on the ball. Yeah, go pass it. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go to the field from here. I go where should maybe go pass him. It's <laughs> not that easy though. Yeah, <laughs> but I like easy. it. I like it when the way it looks at like younger players. Yeah. The way it just everybody's jamming. Like it's never about mm-hmm. oh, I want to take the penalties, the free kicks. Yeah, that type of thing. Like it looks up everybody. Just looks around. I want to bless somebody today. Yeah, let me just give you. <laughs> and a goal. the ball just lands in the right place and, and then the person scores. The yeah. Yeah. It's been so fun hanging with you on my thank deck, you, Ill Bliss. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for pulling up thank on you. me. And thank you for always tuning in to my show. So yeah. if you miss me and you want to catch me off air, put online, you can reach me on K-L-A-I-R-E-O-N-Y-E-K-A. That is Claire Onyeka everywhere. And Ill Bliss, I mean, you know yeah. where to find Ill Bliss. Ill Bliss, Ill Bliss. Yeah, I'm, I'm so easy to find. Oh, God, boss. Yes. What yes. do you mean? Thank you so much for having me on, on, on the deck and... I wish you all the best. best. You're welcome. And also, this is Pop Central, because this is Pop Central. Bye.